Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler video series videos I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I often wonder how many people who watch my videos don't realize how long my hair is. Usually I have it tied back in my videos and everything, but today I was like, nah, just let it, let it do its thing naturally. You know, it's just, I mean, it's not, the, I wish, I personally wish that my hair would just like grow like down to like the middle of my back and I could do that whole thing. It just doesn't. It just, it basically, it just gets to a certain point, a little bit past my shoulders, and then it's basically like, eh, I think I'm done. It's like, but I do it anyway. Despite the fact that numerous people in my life have told me, they're just like, no, no, you look better with short hair. And I'm like, I don't... Thanks? I don't know what to tell you about that one. <laughs> it's kind of a backhanded compliment. But anyway, folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to try out food in or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my Arch Echo shirt. Woo! I love this design. The cat with the tuning fork and everything. Love it. Love it. It's such a cool design. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with the band Arch Echo, they are a progressive instrumental band. Uh, I thought they were just a four-piece, but I actually recently found out, somebody commented in one of my videos, they're like, hey, by the way, uh, they're actually a five-piece. I guess when I went to go see them, one of their guitarists, for whatever reason, wasn't on that tour. But, uh, they still kicked so much ass. They were an absolutely fantastic time. And after everything was said and done, I picked up one of their CDs, picked up one of their shirts. Seemed like really good dudes, a little bit that I got to interact with them. I also got some videos, by the way, of that show, of not only them, but the other two bands that performed, uh, Stellar Circuits and Outrun the Sunlight. Just in case you're interested, just in case you're over there, you're like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I like music too. There you go. But anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? What are we doing here? Well, this is, I don't know, I guess it's a comparison video, not a redemption video. Because folks, we are, and I have to be really careful when I do my boom on this. We're reviewing, boom! Oh god, it's so, can we... It's so hard to see. Can I like it? <laughs> sure. What is this? This, folks, is chicken limone. Limon, limone. I looked up how to pronounce it and I immediately forgot. Uh, it's an Italian dish. It is from a local spot called Nueva Italia. Keep that in mind. So... First and foremost, with it being a local spot, uh, it's going to end up in my Sampler Platter Local Love playlist. That playlist is just for spots local to me. You know, I try to go over there and, you know, give them a shot. Hopefully they're really good. Now, here's the thing. It's two things to take into account. Number one is the reason why I'm doing this particular dish right now. Because two weeks ago, I went over there and I tried out another Italian place called Magnanopoli. Or something like that. I forget exactly. I tried their chicken limone. I won't spoil the review for you, but let's just say I needed a palate cleanser of sorts. So both Magnanopoli and uh, and uh, this place, Nueva Italia, they both have 4.5 stars. They're both proper Italian sit-down places. And I was like, I, I'm going to do a little comparison, basically. So... The other thing to take into account, I have not been back to this particular location for years because the first and only time that I was there prior to this kind of got shitty service. And now to be fair, I'm not trying to hold that, you know, I got my food and everything like that. The guy who went over there and uh, attended to me, you know, when he uh, pointed out my order is very nice. So, you know, that's all in the past. But anyway. Let's try out this particular Italian dish, of which I'm very fond. Hopefully, it'll be a damn sight better than it was at uh, Magnanopoli. One thing I do have to mention, though. Well, two things. Number one, I have to de de deduct points because I asked specifically in my Grubhub order 
for utensils. I did not get utensils. Secondly, I have to give them a point because they have better fucking uh, containers than Magnanopoly did. Fucking con containers for Magnanopoly were terrible. Anyway, this is going to be hard to do. Oh, God. Nuts to it. <laughs> it's just... Like, it's undignified, but who the fuck says I have dignity? Um. Hmm, okay. Definitely preferring the flavor on this one over the Magnanopoly one that I got. Um. It's more balanced. The big point, at one of the big points of contention I had with the Magnanopoly one was, like, the the lemon sauce that they used was just so acidic. Like, it was so overpowering that you really couldn't taste much else. So, in that regard, they definitely win. Their, their sauce is definitely way better. It's more balanced, a little bit more buttery. And it lets the chicken do its thing, you know. So, yeah, I think overall, just flat out, flavor-wise, this is definitely better. I will say this. I appreciate that on the, the Magnanopoly one, they had mushrooms. I was hoping for mushrooms on this. I don't know if that's, you know, standard or if that's, you know, traditional. I, I, I have no fucking clue. But, you know, just in my head. But you do get some potatoes to go along with it. Our oh, Greek potatoes are, well, I guess they're Italian potatoes? I don't know. I've always heard them referred to as Greek potatoes. Super good, especially in the sauce. Very nice. Soaks up the sauce. You get that butteriness, a little bit of that lemon. It just kind of accentuates the normal seasoning that you get with these. Man, these are good. Four marks for that. Really like those. And then we have like some just assorted greens. Carrots and peas and such. Which are fine. They taste like carrots and peas. I don't have any anything against them. Uh, not my favorite part of the dish, but you know, that's okay. Main thing, of course, here is the chicken limona itself. And it tastes good. It's well cooked. Like I said, I definitely think it's way more balanced than the other dish that I had. Um, I mean, points of contention, it's pretty flat. You know, it's not the most impressive piece of chicken I've ever had. But, eh, you know, I get it. They're flattening it out and stuff like that. It's well cooked, though. It eats very nicely. This is definitely more in tune with what I expect from Chicken Limone. Because I've had it from a few places over the years. And you want, like, you don't just want nothing but you know, that lemon flavor, which is kind of what I had the problem with with Magnanopoly. Whereas with this, you know, again, it's more balanced. You're getting different flavors. Other things are being allowed to go through. It doesn't, it just, it tastes like an overall better experience. And by the way, I'm not trying to shit on Magnanopoly. I do intend to actually get something else from there at some point and hopefully give them a shot at redemption. But, in the Battle of the Chicken Limone, Nueva Italiano, or Nueva Italia, definitely way better. Now, all that said, is it a perfect dish? No. For one thing, you saw it. I paid $19.95 for this, because this is their Chicken Limone of the house. $19.95, I mean, you get two pieces of chicken, you do get some potatoes, you get some greens. I don't know, man. That does feel like a little bit much. Like, it was, you know, it was good. 
I enjoyed it, but I have definitely, I have to admit, I've definitely had more spectacular tasting dishes for less. And the thing is, like, I'm okay. Like, I'm not trying to come off as being cheap here. I mean, granted, I ain't exactly fucking rolling it. But, you know, I'm okay with paying a higher price if the experience matches it. I ate some Peruvian food. Which, by the way, I reviewed that. Peru, uh, Peru Caters is the name of the place. I tried some Peruvian food a few weeks back. And that cost a little bit. Actually, cost a little bit more than this. But the overall experience was just absolutely phenomenal. It was like, it was totally, like, you could taste and just, like, every part of the experience felt worth what I paid for. With this, I think if they knocked this down to a $15 dish, it'd be a little bit more in, but... That said, it's still a good dish. Now, all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with yes sometimes. And okay, sure. So here's the thing. If I want some Chickalamona in my immediate area, I know that the two immediate Italian restaurants that are close to me, I know which of those I'm going to choose. And it's definitely going to be Nueva Italia. It is not the best incarnation I've ever had of this dish, but it's a solid enough one. It does all the things that I want it to do. The chicken's prepared well, the sauce works. I like the potatoes and the greens. You know, it's a solid enough dish. It's not going to be anything I get on the regular, because again, I just think the price is a bit much on it. This was an instance where I had... Uh, I had a Grubhub gift card, so it was, like, the perfect opportunity. But, yeah, I, I could see myself getting it again. If I'm recommending it, it's one of those things where it's a little bit kind of here or there, because it's like, again, I definitely had better chicken limone, but this isn't a bad version of it. If you've never had it before, this isn't a bad one to start with, by any means. I think they, like I said, I do think they did a good job. Um, there might be better things on the menu, I don't know. I've only had, you know, I have one other thing that I'm going to review from them. So, you know, be ready for that. But, yeah, I mean, I guess I'd still recommend it, but it's, I wouldn't go out of my way for it, I guess, is the best way I'd put it. Even though, ultimately, I did like it, and I think it's tasty. So, anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Stupendous rest of your folks. You go over there every cell. a truly chicken limone-tastic rest of your life. Because, I mean, when it's done properly, and this is done properly, it's a wonderful thing. I like it. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live and I'm out there with you in it. You know, in this particular review, you know, I've had to be a little bit of an asshole because, you know, I was doing a little bit of a comparison versus a dish that sadly underwhelmed me with the, the Magnanopoly one. And even with this one, I've Try to be as fair as possible with it, you know, even having to mention, though, you know, the price range and stuff. But I do want it to be known that, you know, ultimately, I am always rooting for local establishments. 100%. Always. And, you know, in the way of Italia, Magnonopoli, they both have very high ratings. They are both, they've both been around for quite a while. You know, I'm not trying to say that either are bad or anything like that. You know, just all I can do is give you my personal experience. But, take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, maybe, you know, you know your Italian food way better than I do. Because I fucking, I, I don't know Italian food. And I'm sure if people would be like, blah, 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 you don't know. I never said I did. I'm just going off of my personal experiences. You know, but maybe you go over there and you hit me up in the comments and be like, Brandon, if you want proper chicken limone, you have to go to this location and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I mean, I'll see what I can do. You know, I mean, if I have to go all the way to Italy, or, sorry, Italy to go over there and try it, I, I mean, you know, maybe we'll get like a crowdfunding thing or something. I'll take a trip to Italy. Probably not going to happen anytime soon, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Or conversely, hey, maybe you make a banging ass chicken limone and you can go over there and hit me up with the recipe or some shit. I don't know if I'll make it because, like, I don't cook, cook much, but, you know. Anyway, bye.